swimming. Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Peppa is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Peppa, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <laughs> there, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Richard, I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Peppa. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. <laughs> Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. One of the wonders of nature, birds. 
How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> there's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <laughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going to Duckland, Duckland in the camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when... we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho! You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig! Uh, ahoy there! Beep, beep! Sailing on the river in the camper van. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home! Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Camper Van. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> It's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Secrets. <coughs> Mummy Pig has made a special box for Peppa. <coughs> Peppa, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Pepper. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Pepper. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. 
You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Pepper is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Pepper's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <laughs> George thinks Pepper has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <sniffs> anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Pepper's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. <sniffs> it's very nice, Pepper. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> your glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Pepper likes secrets. Bobby, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Pepper would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Pepper does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One. Two, three. George has a drum. <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yes, it sounds very nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Pepper's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Pepper, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig all like custard doughnuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard doughnut. Can you guess where? Hmm. Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Pepper and her family have come to the summer fete. <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. This is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. This is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Wee-hee! We're going up in the air! Yes! It can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! Oh. It can even loop the loop. Whoa! <laughs> Poor Daddy! He's missing all the fun. Yes. Poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, that's nice. Maybe we should land, 
now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit! I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. Hooray! What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Breakdown recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even loop the loop. Whoa! Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. <laughs> Treehouse. Pepper and George are visiting Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig! Thank you, Yig. Hello, my little ones. Before you come in the house, you must take off your muddy boots. Yes, Granny. <laughs> Pepper, George, look what I've made. Little curtains. Ooh. What are the little curtains for, Granny? It's a surprise. Do you want to see what Grandpa Pig has made for you in the garden? Yes, please. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, Peppa, George. Look what I've made for you. A tree house. A tree house? For George and me? <laughs> and the little curtains are for your tree house. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love their tree house. Thank you, Granny Pig. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go inside first? Me, me. In you go, then. Before I go in my tree house, I must take off my muddy boots. I'm in my tree house. I'm in my tree house. <laughs> George, would you like to go in the tree house too? Yes, who is it? A young pig named George would like to pay a visit. Can he come in? As long as he takes off his muddy boots. George, take your boots off, then you can visit Pepper in the treehouse. 
Who is it? George? <laughs> <laughs> yes, who is it? It's Mummy Pig. Have you room for any more visitors? Hmm. You have to say the secret words. Then you can come into our house. <laughs> I see. And what are the secret words? I have to whisper them to you. The secret words are Daddy's big tummy. I see. <laughs> <laughs> say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have... Different secret words, please. No. <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> That's right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, uh, I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> I know. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I love our treehouse. I don't want to ever come out. That's nice, Pepper. But are you sure you don't want to visit me in my house? No, thank you, Granny. In that case, Grandpa Pig and I will just have to eat my homemade cookies all by ourselves. Cookies! <laughs> Granny Pig! Here are my homemade cookies. But if you want to come in, you have to say the secret words. That's easy. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think that those are very silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are in the school playground. <laughs> Children, today we have a special person coming to teach you basketball. Ooh. Hello! Daddy! It isn't home time yet. We've got a special teacher coming today. That's me. I'm the coach. A basketball teacher is called a coach. Ooh, that's clever, Daddy. Pepper, call me coach. OK, Daddy coach. Does anyone know how to play basketball? No. It's fun. You have to run, bounce the ball and throw it through the hoop. Wow. Easy peasy. Oh. It is not as easy as it looks. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes, I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Danny. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> You need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. 
split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <whistles> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. <laughs> the parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready? Steady? Go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Hooray! All thanks to Daddy Coach. <laughs> <laughs> the flying vet. Pepper has brought Goldie the fish to the vets for a checkup. You've got a healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hamster. This is Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant and his family are out for a walk in the mountains. We found a sick lizard. It's a gecko. Edmund knows all about lizards. He is a clever clogs. I'll be straight there. Ooh, can we come too? Of course. Let's go. Are we going in an ambulance? No, the mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh! Aeroplane! No! George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! <laughs> up, up and away! I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Stand aside. Vet coming through. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. Uh, Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly. It's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Wow! Hello, <laughs> Pepper. George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha. Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner, the better. There's an island. There we go. Better, Polly. Ah, uh, better, Polly. Hooray! Polly is not a sick parrot anymore. Oh, another emergency. Hello. Hello. 
Daddy Pig here. Daddy Pig is in his office. There are some ducklings stuck on our roof. I'll be right there. Thank goodness you're here. Stand aside. Dr Hamster here. Mrs Duck laid her eggs on our roof. And now the ducklings have hatched. <laughs> Who can make a quacking noise? Me! I'm very good at quacking. Pepper, start quacking and the ducklings will follow you. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Lead them to the duck pond, please, Pepper. OK. I, Mummy Duck. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. <laughs> the ducklings are back with their Mummy and Daddy. All because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is it another emergency? Yes, it's Mr Hamster. I'm late for my tea. Bye! Bye-bye, Dr Hamster. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. It's all in a day's work for the flying vet. <laughs> 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 <laughs>